yo yo what's going on everyone it's tk and i'm going to showcase the fireball with the super valkyries and also the overgrowth spell you're going to enjoy this strategy hopefully but without any further ado let's dive in all right we are here on a war attack now guys this account of mine that i have actually maxed out this fireball just for you guys to be able to showcase this strategy and i mean uh, yeah it, it did cost me money it did but i'm doing it for you man i saw the fireball videos got a lot of views from mateo attacking and i was like honestly i want to showcase this fireball a bit more because right now you know man you know what's going on with this clash of clans but let's move on and we're gonna have a little warden walk on this corner you want to have the fireball kind of in a way to be able to take down the cc on a lot of your approaches i know we got a poison but that is when you know we got more value around the other side of the base now this approach is interesting because you can use as many rages and free spells as you want because you got five super valkyries that can provide the rage spells deep into the base now look at that we're gonna dive into boom oh my god that cc is gone we're gonna pull the warden then you can use now the overgrowth for basically another side of funnel one super valkyrie to just walk around the outside more root riders loons and the king with more super valkyries you can see now the flame flinger will go to the mortar i was trying to tank it it was a bit early but now we have one rage but it's fine we got rages we'll have basically deeper in the core but this is where you can now see the power of this strategy because you do not need a warden ability even going through a town hall or monolith or scatter shots i'm poisoning the town hall in case there is more um of those ground skellies now royal champion on the right side providing more of value the, you can see the cc we have titan and yeti very good cc in my opinion for those flame flinger attacks king's gauntlet will demolish this entire side of the base and with the queen right behind all that army with root riders and also super valkyries she can be provided a lot of tanking and also sometimes even maybe you get lucky one rage of a valkyrie will drop and you'll clean with maybe healers that you have on her or you know it's up to you really what ability you want to run with the queen sometimes the healer do really help out if you want to pop it a bit early but for the royal champion you want to have the haste vial and also depending again on your levels of the ability you want to have the hog puppet or that royal gem that's completely up to you well we got four heroes alive and this was a war hit a max town hall 16 guys with four heroes alive this is kind of insane because we don't have the warden ability even the king didn't die but let's move on to legends league we're here on this box base now this is a bit weirdly designed just because i again my trophies are not too high on this account i'm just doing testings and mostly youtube videos but we're gonna move on let's see if we pop that warden ability on the monolith we're gonna get double expose and a big funnel so that's what we're gonna go for but i want you to take a look at how we play around with the graveyard uh, i'm saying graveyard holy hold on no 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 <laughs> not the graveyard but the overgrowth spells now you can see the warden walk on the top side i'm always giving warden that one baby drag to kind of speed things up and also funnel the warden so he goes inside the base because you want the warden to actually move into the base if you have defenses and trash buildings on left and right the warden will just stay on the outside so now i had the option of popping the warden ability on the eagle but i was like ah it doesn't really you know it's not worth it but look we're gonna invest that rage we can even invest one more rage it doesn't matter you would not need the rage spells in the core guys because of the valkyries this is something i'm like always kind of looking to find you know it's the same way that i kind of discovered the super barbarian strategy it was like you don't need spells with the troops that have already spells you know what i'm saying so now we're gonna go in with a freeze we're gonna go with another rage thankfully the rage was covering the healers now we're gonna go ahead with when the mortar is down then we're gonna go with that warden ability getting that area done and then we're gonna start into the right side with that ice golem valkyries and root riders we can drop the king with them or sometimes drop the king to go to the other compartment which this is what in this case i'm gonna do one overgrowth spell for that core so the root riders 
don't have too crazy but still one of them could go and open that wall we got cc that is coming out and it's loons and that's why as i said on the first attack we have the poison spell to be able to counter the cc troops that we are not going to take down with the warden um kind of fireball now you can see we're still going in we got so many roots riders that are opening the path for the queen you got so many of these free spells guys and i'm going to provide that royal champion to help my flame finger and now you just keep freezing the areas that are needed to trust me this strategy was just so much fun this is the only ground strategy that i actually enjoyed playing with because I mean, it's super Valkyries, man. You drop them with the Root Riders and your heroes. You have that Fireball early on. And look, man, we're getting that Rage on the King. It's crazy. <laughs> Those little Rages. Sometimes I'm going to give you this tip. Drop the Super Valkyries before you drop the Root Riders. They're even faster. So they're going to go deeper and die quicker. So now your heroes and your healers or your Root Riders will all be Raged up. But that's how we got this base done and dusted. Let's move on to the next. Now, as you know me, we already saw a ring, we saw a box, we're gonna take a look at a diamond base, but take a look at the value on the town hall. This is what I mean, and this is why I enjoy now using this ground strategy, especially with that fireball. Now, the fireball, guys, you can have it at level 20, I believe, 5 as well, to be able to, you know, use only one earthquake. If you have it less than 25, you can use two earthquake. It doesn't matter. Take one freeze out and take two earthquake. I think the fireball between level 18 or sorry, 15 and 25 will take two earthquake spells. You can always give that like a try. But look at this. I'm warden walking into two single infernos. This is what I mean. It doesn't matter. These spells, you're not going to use them with your army your army is so strong when they dive into the base and it's unbelievable so we use the rage and the freeze already i'm here on another single inferno i'm gonna use another rage and another freeze with the poison spell to kill the cc at this point guys this is a warden charge i'm really sorry to break it down to you but this base has no chance of defending the rest of my attack when that area of the town hall is down even though we invested so much now as you guys maybe saw or missed we had a flame finger on the top side to take down the scatter shot so the back end will be a bit easier the moment warden takes out the town hall we're gonna go in with those root riders and look at this overgrowth spells we're gonna kind of give access and i would say a nice funnel for our valkyries and the root riders now my valkyrie job was a bit bad because i dropped the root rider so the scatter wouldn't target my warden but it's fine they will come back eventually sometimes they don't sometimes they do it doesn't matter that much look at that rage spell that i only had this is one spell i'm gonna deploy so the healers bring back the root riders to full hp going into a monolith you still got two more spells and this is where you can deploy the royal champion to help out with the king that is on the outside and look at the core what is left from this base to defend honestly like you saw the way we spend all those spells for our warden charge but guys where would you use the spells if you didn't use it with the warden right there is no need look at how many troops we got look at the four heroes green hp and we got two more free spells like guys I have heard everyone say hero equipments are too OP, right? But guess what? We didn't use the champion equipment. We didn't use the king gauntlet. And we didn't use the queen's healer or any type of equipment. And everything is crushed with only those Valkyries, Root Riders, and the Fireball. So you can already see the power of this strategy that is on the ground. But let's move on to the last attack. All right, we are here on a double rage box base. And I wanted to showcase this because... The value with the Warden Walk on this space was actually quite limited. So if you Warden Walk the Monolith, you won't get the Eagle and Infernos. If you Warden Walk the Scattershot, you won't really get CCs or really the Core. You would just get a normal Warden Walk value. If you Warden Walk the Town Hall, you wouldn't get that much value either. Maybe two Expos and also the Inferno and the CC will be still remaining. So this warden walk that I'm doing here is going to take a bit longer. That's why at the end of the attack, we're going to have a bit less time. But look, we're going to have the flame finger right in front of an expo. Yes, because it just gives a small funnel. It doesn't matter too much. 
if the flame flinger is just gonna die to the egg so you don't need the flame flinger you need that three or four building funnel let's look at the warden now I know this part might be a bit boring doing that warden but hopefully I'm you know kind of talking enough to give you ideas of what I'm thinking when the base opens so let's wait for this warden to go to that rage tower or the ricochet cannon I really wanted him to go a bit more deeper because you still got time you can go maybe I would say 1 minute 50 even with the warden walk sometimes and look at that overgrowth man beautifully just done there I wanted to kind of overgrowth that expo so the flame flicker goes a bit deeper at the same time that is the same overgrowth I'm going to use to funnel everything else and look at that beautiful value we got the inferno and we got a few buildings right next to the CC that funnel the flame flinger and also the funnel it gives us we're gonna dive into now this area but the overgrowth is gonna run out so we actually have better pathing through the entire base so you can see already this is another way to use the overgrowth look at that little rage man just raging through that entire side like we don't need those rages that we already have these valkyries will do beautifully you can rage in the core you can rage late you can rage for a royal champion or even your warden walk you can already see man you don't even need the warden ability in the core this is what i mean like everyone thought i think with the blueprint video as well they thought maybe the titans or just mass fruit riders or mass pekas but no this one actually gives you those rage spells really nicely too but look we're gonna dive in now to that last compartment with our queen king went outside i mean i mean it's not the worst but it could be better but look where would you drop the royal champion at this point do you even need it i don't think so but i mean you'd kind of do because we are low on time as i said at the beginning we're gonna be low on time at the end because of the warden walk but look at the hp of the heroes man like they didn't go through any damage for the entire base and the only damage that was dealing with them was literally the back end expo and a town hall what happens in the middle this is something that is so interesting for me you don't know what is going on in the middle of the base because everything is providing so much tanking and damage and in general smoothness of an attack strategy hopefully you enjoyed this video learned a few things and give this army a try i'll see you soon on the next one take care and peace